do want to focus in on the energy and the ETF market, the places really to invest in some of the pitfalls. Our Courtney Donahoe and Adam Johnson here with us to look at kind of two different sides of the ETF story. Courtney, I want to start with you. You're kind of talking about one recurring problem with ETFs, and investors really kind of got to take note of this one. Yeah, we're definitely talking about buyer beware here, and you better be careful and know what you're buying and do your homework. Well, it may seem like a great investment. Sometimes ETFs don't always perform the way that you expect, or even worse, it underperforms from your expectations. Uh, well, we've been talking a lot about ETF investors diving into natural gas and a, a bet that it will spike higher from here. So investors have been jumping into the United States Natural Gas Fund. And to give you a little background on the ETF, it's the first and largest exchange traded fund for natural gas, and the ticker for it is UNG. It attracted record volume yesterday. Investors saw the word nat gas and just went running for the fund. But just jumping in because it's called a nat gas fund could set a lot of investors who are expecting one thing for it to mimic nat gas to be disappointed. Now, this chart here is going to tell you the whole story. Now, the green part, that is the front month contract for natural gas. Now, the white line here, that's uh, and below the green line, that's UNG. That is the natural gas contract. And you'll, you'll see this ETF has underperformed natural gas. So if you expect it to get the same returns, Carol, you're definitely not getting them. And you could see this by this chart here. And that's the point, uh, Courtney that by, the, by buying the ETF, you're not necessarily getting the full run-up that you're seeing in the underlying commodity, right? Yeah, no. Um, I mean, quarter-to-date returns, if you were looking at natural gas, looking at the commodity, it's up around 9.7%, but the ETF is up 5.6%, so the ETF's it's not capturing, Carol, all the gains that are out there. All right, I'm going to come back to you in a moment because I want to bring Adam into this. Adam, I mean, talk to me about the flows that we're kind of seeing. I mean, Courtney mentioned about a record volume yesterday. Talk to me about the flows here. Yeah, uh, well, I'll tell you what. We track ETF inflows uh, every week. Right. And here's what we found over the past week. Uh, of the six that really jumped out and caught our attention, four were energy related. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. And, and of course, a, a week ago we were talking about nat gas as being cheap to crude. We, we, we talked about that a week ago and it seems everyone has been piling on this trade and as Courtney's saying, the flows into the UNG have been amazing. Um, if we pull up the screen, you'll see there were four. Uh, GAZ, which is a nat gas, the, um, the shares outstanding were up 35%, Carol, wow. in one week, in right. one week. Wow. Uh, nat, uh, UNG, what Courtney's talking about, 26%, uh, and the S CO, which is the two times inverse crude, up 23%. So you really see people are piling onto this trade. All right, but the po point is here, guys, I mean, the bottom line is you got to be careful when you're looking at some of these ETFs. Oh, you do. And Courtney, you're going to love this one. You're talking about the, the nat gas uh, uh, versus the UNG. I found something. This is shocking. Uh, the XLF, the financial ETF, is up about a percent on the year. All right, so you would expect the FAS, which is the three-time bull financial ETF, to be up 3%, right? Fair assumption. But yeah. it's not, is it? Guess what? It's down 60, 60, 60%. Wow. Yeah, these, these it's levered shocking. Funds, yeah, they're so volatile. Um, and you have to be so careful about this. Because I think same thing with, um, I think it was the Direction direction Share Financial Bear ETF. Same situation. Uh, uh, the returns, just so much less than what we were seeing in the Russell, uh, Russell 2000. All right, so you got to keep this in mind when you're buy, uh, investing into one of those ETFs. All right, yeah. guys, got to run. Thank you. Adam Court, thank you so much.